Hey guys, so in today's video I want to talk about red flags and accountability. Now when I say red flags, I mean narcissistic red flags. The red flags that we choose to ignore. And when I talk about accountability, I mean the accountability we need to take for choosing to ignore these red flags for any reasons. Now you may choose to ignore red flags because you really like someone. You may choose to do so because you want to see the good in people. There are so many reasons why you can choose to ignore red flags. But we must understand that once we can identify red flags and we still choose to ignore them, that's a choice and we have to be accountable for our choices. That is how one heals from codependency. With that being said, I want you to stitch this. I want you to tell me what is the biggest red flag you've ignored and tell me why. I'll start. So I've been in a relationship throughout my entire 20s, right? I really only started dating in my early 30s. So I'm on a second date with this girl, right? And we're in my bed cuddling after doing the do, as you do, cause you do. And she starts talking to me about her ex-boyfriend. And as the newbie that I am, instead of seeing this as a sign to abort immediately, I just think to myself, she's really smart, she's really pretty, she's really funny, I really want this to work, so I'm gonna ignore the fact that she's talking to me about her ex-boyfriend on a second date. Luckily for me, it didn't take long for her to show me her true colors, and I stopped talking to her very shortly after that. Well, it's your turn to share now. Don't let me down. This is the war against narcissism, guys. Salute.